I'm working on another composite, but this time we're adding wings. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Chris McNish, content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated, where we provide solutions using content creation to tell your story. Before I go any further, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post more content. I'll be using some actions from KCC Photography and elements from a company called Paper and Camera along with ATP Textures. I'll leave their information in the description. So let's get started. All right, let's open up Photoshop. And we have this beautiful background here. And the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate this layer and let's name this layer copy. Just like that. And the second thing that we do is that we want to get our subject. So I have my niece here, Katie, and I've already taken her out of the background, the white background. We took her in the studio, shot her in the studio and now we're going to drag Katie into the picture. So you'll go to your select tool or you will press V and you'll hold it down and push it right to here. Boom, of course she's too big. So what we wanna do is we want to press Command T and I believe it's something else for PC. I don't know what it is, but I'll make sure I get that information for you. We just want to make her smaller. And I think right there would be perfect. If I have to make her bigger, then I'll make her bigger, but I think there will be perfect. My goal is to cover up her feet and some of her legs. So in order to do that, I'm going to take the lay, oh, let me name this Katie so we don't get confused. Katie. All right, so we're going to put Katie in between copy and background. And so Katie disappeared. So in order to see Katie, we wanna select the copy layer, which is the top layer there. And we want to bring down the opacity so we can see where Katie is. Let's bring that down. So what we're gonna do is on the copy layer, we're going to create a mask. So let's click on that icon there. We have a white mask. And in order to take off the digital background that's on this top layer, because remember we duplicated it. Um, we are going to have to set a brush, we get a brush. Let's see how small that is. Make sure that your brush is at 100%, the opacity is at 100%, your flow is at 100. And let's make sure that our brush color is black, okay? So when we do that, we bring Katie back in just like that and I'm just gonna bring about maybe three-fourths of her back in right there so as you can see this doesn't look realistic okay matter of fact I'm gonna bring all of her that doesn't look realistic that looks like I cut it out somewhere and I just put it right there in the picture so I'm gonna zoom in because it's gonna take some time and like I said, I'm probably gonna speed this up, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do there. So if you see that here, um, you see that we have her behind the, the flowers there. We hit her feet. We make sure we put her at 100%. Right above the top layer, we're going to add some wings. And here's the other thing um, that I've noticed. So she, you see she has the sheer right here. And so just to make that look a little bit uh, more realistic, I'm going to bring down my opacity maybe to 10% and I'm going to take 
and just tap it here. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're going to add some wings. And I found, and this is from, I believe this is from ATP Textures, Fairy Wings. So we're gonna press V for the selection tool. We're gonna to drag this into here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it about right there. Now, of course, that is a little bit too big. So let's make it smaller. To make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, I think that's good. Let's bring it down a little bit. I think that's good. It's a fairy tale. So, hey, let's make the wings bigger. Awesome. And then what we're going to do here is that um, they purposely did not uh, give us a wing that's on the other end, which was smart because all you have to do is duplicate the layer. And then you go to edit, transform, and then flip horizontally. And you have there you have the other one. Just like that. And I think I'm gonna put it. You wanna be symmetrical as much as you can. Let's put it a little high. No, let's put it right there. And right there. And so now the goal is we know that wings don't look like they're usually in the back. So what we need to do is we need to create two masks for each wing. Matter of fact, let's name them. This is wing left. Of course, if that's wing left, this would be wing right. Okay. And you can decide on it if you want to do it by the subject's right or your right. I'm doing it by my perspective. So I know this is the white ring, white. This is the right wing, sorry. <laughs> and so now we're gonna make this a little opaque so we can see the outline of her body there. And then what we're gonna do is we will make, we'll select our brush, we'll zoom in, we'll come down here, we'll zoom in and We'll select our brush, make sure that our brush is at 100%. And you're zooming in so that you can mask the wing from behind her, just like that. All right, so that gives you an idea of what the wings look like. I think that's pretty cool. And we are going to group these together. Command G, you select both of them, press Command G. Let's call them wings. All right, and after the wings, we want to add butterflies she wanted butterflies in her lamp so we got her some butterflies so we'll bring this butterfly in and for the sake of time I'm probably going to just put maybe one or two in there
All right, we got two in there. I'm gonna make a mask on the second one. Makes it seem like it's inside. <clears throat> okay, now what we're gonna do, so let's group those together. Command G and let's call this butterfly flies. Okay. All right. So then the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add a light. So we're going to add this light here. I think this one's pretty cool. And we'll bring this over here. And of course that does not look right. So let's command T this and bring it down about right here so in order to see where we're gonna put it let's make it opaque let's put the light right in between the butterflies there bring that up and now let's go to our blending mode which is this drop down in your layers pane and then we'll let's bring the opacity up okay so you see that we have the light there and it's not really that bright. So what we're gonna do is if you duplicate the layer, it makes it brighter. Watch, Command G. All right. Command G, Command G. There it is right there. And then what we wanna do is definitely group this layer. And let's call this light. Light. And what we want to do is bring it down just a hair. And if you want, you can do two things. Either we can make a layer mask on this group, or you can put the butterfly layer on top of the light layer, which will put the butterflies on top. Just like that. But I think I'm going to leave it. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm going to put a mask. And let's say that I take my brush and I do 30%. I'm gonna zoom in. Because when you have the light on and the butterflies are in there, you don't see them really in focus. So I'm just gonna dap it, dap it. Tap it there. Tap it there. That looks a little bit better. You true com people that composite can definitely help me out with this. But yeah, so you have that and then you have the light there. And then if it's too much, I bring down the opacity of the butterflies just to here so you kind of see them i think that's pretty cool or you can put a blur on there which is which is cool but i think that's fine for what we're trying to do now so now that we have we have the light we have the wings and now so now what we need to do is that we we need to make this blend in with the background so kcc photography um has a light hack it's called it's under their kcc lens filters and then you go to your kcc light tricks you bring that up there click on stop and watch how everything just kind of blends in at the same time all right there there it is blend in so we'll bring the opacity down and have it blend in just a little bit okay everybody see that now um, what we need to do is get a lens filter to give this thing some color and the lens filter is KCC lens filter Boom, and I got my cheat sheet here. I just wanna make sure I have everything correct. 
So we'll go to Dusty Road. I make it pop a little bit. Let's bring that down. Cause it's already bright, so we don't want to compete too much. So we'll bring that down. And then we'll go with Warm Light. Nice. So we'll select that layer there. We'll bring that down also. And all you're doing is that when you're bringing down your opacity, you're looking at your picture. Put it here. Go down here. So you're looking at your picture just to make sure that it, that the light is not truly competing with it. And you can move it up and down. See, I'm moving it all the way up. It's too much, so I'm gonna bring it down. And then I'm just looking at it to see what my eye likes. That's how you develop your eye. Okay. Then the next thing that I want you to do is we'll go to vanilla. So white. Yeah. Click that there and we definitely bring that down. Definitely bring it down there. Then we'll toggle back and forth just to see how it's hitting it. And then we'll go peaches and cream. Nice. And then let's select it 100%. And then so I'm going to toggle off and on. So that's before. And this is after. Before and after. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my page. Click on that notification bell and don't forget to leave a comment.